Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at installing a PlayStation 3 emulator and setting it up on Windows 10. This will also work for other Windows, for example Windows 7 and Windows 8. To start off with you need to go to the link that's in the description below and you'll end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page you now need to press download and you need to look for this button here that says download for Windows and we're going to go save file once that file's finished downloading we're just going to open it up and you'll end up with a load of files like this once you've got this we're simply going to right click on our desktop and go new then folder and we're just going to name it PS3 and we're just going to open up that folder and we're now going to select all the files in this folder here that we downloaded and we're going to drag it all to this PS3 folder. Once that's finished extracting we can now close down that zip folder and we've got our new folder here which is our PS3 folder. You now need to go to the description below and click on the next link which is this link here and you now need to press download now and we're going to go save file once that file's finished downloading we're just going to simply drag it to our PS3 folder and as you can see it's now there we can now run the rpcs3.exe and we can click run and this is the emulator you now need to press do not show again and I have read the quick start guide and we're going to go continue if I just maximize that up this is what the main screen looks like you got all your controls in here to do absolutely anything you want first we need to install the latest firmware for the PS3 to do this we need to go to file then we need to go down to install firmware and we're going to double click on that ps3 update.pup file and as you can see it's now installing the latest firmware version for our ps3 emulator once that's done you can press ok and you can now go to configuration and we can go to system once you're in here you can select your console language which for me is going to be English and then we can go across to CPU in here you've got lots of settings which you can adjust to make the emulator run faster if your computer is not so powerful or you can tweak them to make the games look absolutely fantastic if your computer can handle it for example if we go across to GPU we've got rendering options here we've got OpenGL or we've got DirectX 3D12 which is obviously the highest of the max rendering option there it does say do not use which means that it could be a bit buggy and glitchy it's it's basically totally up to you to try it out it's basically a testing game when it comes to setting up these options you just got to keep loading up a game testing out your new settings if they're not working and the game's still buggy cancel the game go back onto here and then tweak the settings a bit more again and that is it that is how you download install and set up this emulator to get the games it's not hard I can uh, well you know you should be able to figure it out yourself a quick google search and you'll find them I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials